So you might be wondering where I'm at. I'm actually at my mom's workplace, my dad's company. I actually worked here for like half a year and I quit. No comment on that. But I finally reached 8,000 subscribers. Actually far past that because I wasn't expecting to reach 8,000 this quickly. But I got about, I'd say about 320 extra subscribers in like three days because Arduino vs. Evil, one of my, I consider, consider him a good YouTube friend. He did a shout out for me and I just got a bunch of subscribers overnight, which is pretty awesome. But that means that now I have to figure out a way to make an 8,000 subscriber sign. Well, my dad's company, my mom's workplace, actually th this is the warehouse that she works in. They have an embroidery machine. I'm counting the laser etcher back there, but we'll save that for probably 10,000. We have an embroidery machine here, and my dad said that we can embroider 8,000 under a piece of cloth because I couldn't think of, I couldn't think of something. I was thinking maybe doing something with old computer equipment, sort of circuit boards or whatever, but I'm thinking it might be better just to make the sign using the embroidery machine, their new embroidery machine. It's a lot better than their old one. The old one they had was from about 1998 or so, and it just wasn't any good. Well, before we start on this project, I'd like to thank Arduino vs. Evil again, because you're a really cool person. I like talking to you about mining equipment and mineral samples and ideas for machines and whatnot, and you do a lot of cool videos like I do. And to my viewers, I'd say that he's, his channel's pretty much the same as mine. It's just that I have more time to do projects, so I turn out more videos. But his videos are really cool, not counting... He does a lot more more expensive things because he actually has a job, so he can fund some things. Where where I I I still am running off my YouTube income, so I my the finances for my projects aren't nearly as big as stuff like like he does. Like I'm too cheap to spend thirty dollars on resin and stuff like that, simple stuff like that. But but yeah, so he does a lot of interesting stuff. So you might want to go check him out. Well, anyway, let's get back to this. My mom's over here, digitizing. 8,000 or whatever. What kind of font do you want? We can choose from here or we can just find a picture on the internet and then I can... Um, so I have to pretty much copy it anyway. Stylized, stylized would be cool. I mean... Okay. Oh, I like that. I think that'll, I think that'll look nice. So this machine uses the new blue hoops. The old machine only used the gray hoops, so we, they don't use them. So what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to take one of take the embroidery home in one of these. We'll probably put it into this and embroider it in one of these, and then whenever it's done embroidered, we'll transfer it into one of these so we can hang it up. It's kind of cool. Now that's kind of interesting. They don't have an R. They have a P, and then they don't cut the thread, and they make that slash underneath it, and that makes the R. Saves in a lot of data, I guess. This is how it will be embroidered on the machine. Pretty cool. On the cusp of technology. <laughs> Because God knows they couldn't put a USB <laughs> they couldn't put a USB connector on this what twenty thousand dollar machine, or was it thirty thousand dollar? <laughs> well, hey, at least it's not using five and a quarter inch. Matches. Hey, yeah, it does. <laughs> Now we need to pick the thread. Okay. Which color? Um, I think the one is over here. Do you want fluorescent orange? I have like hunter. I also have like not hunter. Are they all shiny? Yeah. 
You know, I just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, that, that's like road worker orange. Yes, it is. That's exactly what that's for. You know, this is actually kind of red. This is, you have something more orangey. Let's look over here. Yeah. Let me sew it out. This Sorry. is gold rush. Okay. And this is what we sew on here, and it doesn't really look the same. No, it doesn't. It looks completely... It does have some similar qualities, but... I mean, you can tell it's the same, but when you see it on here, it looks different. Yeah. Hey, huh? how about that one? Oh. Yeah, I like that. Do you always go two layers thick? Yeah. Oh, actually, that's pretty thin, so never mind, yeah. Yeah. And as you know, usually I'm working in the warehouse and trying to do this. Yeah. So, I kind of cut corners sometimes. Well, let's... Find a standard that yeah. works for everything. That's how business works. Cutting this corners. Temporary glue. Nice. Usually once you get it done, you never undo it. But of course we do, because we do different things. Most places that do embroidery do the same things over and over again. We do different items every time. Yeah. Thread break.
Thanks. Well guys, thanks for 8,000 subscribers. That's pretty awesome. And I sh might be hitting 10,000 by the end of the year. Don't know. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!